Dwarfs. Standing at a fairly squat 4 to 5 feet tall, dwarfs are coated in layers of tough skin, sporting earthy tones with textures ranging from gritty stone to smooth almost metallic. While being covered in sensitive white hairs all over that they use to feel their surroundings instead of the near useless eyes they have. This is due to many dwarfs living in advanced subterranean settlements. Connected via a series of complex tunnels with the ones above ground usually deciding to live a nocturnal lifestyle due to their underground origin leading to the deterioration of their eyes. Making them near useless, this is reflected in their fashion, with dwarves almost always wearing some sort of eye covering in the day, be it sunglasses or veils. To protect their sensitive eyes which has led to the widespread belief that dwarfs lack eyes but and the myth that all dwarfs have beards no matter what. This stems from the fact that dwarfs have multiple sets of whiskers, since instead of sight they use their extremely developed sense of touch. Assisted by the hair and whisker-like antenna to feel their surroundings, to the point being able to pinpoint the location of things via vibration in the surrounding ground and air. Though most would think being blind would inhibit the invention of advanced technology, it seems this has not stopped the dwarfs, in fact quite the opposite. With dwarfs seemingly being able to sense the internal workings of most objects and can even determine the quality of metal at essentially a glance. This has led to dwarven crafts being greatly sought after due to their high quality, ornate decorations and impressive durability. With some rumors suggesting that some dwarfs have taken to selling magic-infused armaments though I haven't been able to get my hands on one. Though usually these dwarven crafts have to be custom-made, as despite their small stature they're deceptively strong, with a complex muscular system making use of contraction and hydraulics allowing them to lift well above their already high body weight, making manual labor easy and allowing their weapons to be egregiously heavy by human standards. With the high demand for dwarven works they've needed to become more secure and selective with who they let into their subterranean settlements. These decisions are made by an enigmatic figure that seemingly possesses the preternatural ability to detect lies and intent. If I had to guess is say they're using their in-depth tactile sense to analyze any changes in body language or heart rate. That's just a guess though. Despite our research there's still a lot to uncover.